guys. Let me adjust my monitor here so it's closer to me. Let's see, Fernando, Rachel, Darla. Hi, guys. So we'll wait a few minutes for people to come in. <clears throat> TikTok artist. Who else? So I'll give it a few minutes. I've been gone for two weeks. So get back in the swing of it. I got some uh, happy mail and maybe we'll do some collaging. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. <coughs> get my voice going here. Hi, Becky. Thank you. Whoops. <laughs> thank you, Becky. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Fernando. Missed. <laughs> thank you. Good morning, Pacola. Hi, Pamela. How's everybody doing? Is it a little dark or does it look okay? Do I need to up the brightness just a little maybe? Or does that look good? Hi, Janice. Janice, I got your little box of happy mail I'm going to show. I got your um, happy mail here. Uh, hi, Shelly. Julie. Nichols. Thank you, Nichols. Amaris. Linda. Thanks, everybody. So, yeah, Hubster's home today, too, Labor Day, the holiday. And uh, so we got back, uh, what day? Saturday. We got back Saturday. We drove back from San Antonio on Saturday. Yeah. Um, so we just, uh, so my mailbox, you know, they, they held the mail until that day, till we got back. And it was, they had jam packed it, jammed it all in there. So, yeah, <clears throat> let's see, Annie, hi, Janet, how's it going? So, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what we're going to do today. I haven't really had a chance to plan much because I've been unpacking, doing laundry, you know, doing all kinds of stuff, being gone the week, got the cats back, got the cats back yesterday. Denise brought them down. They stayed at Denise's house um, while, while we were gone. And uh, so we got the cats yesterday. So a lot of a lot of attention to the cats. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, and I got these books. These books were in the mail. I do not know who sent them. I think they come from, came from the book depository. So there's there was no card. So if anybody wants to tell me or fess up. <laughs> oh, Janet. <laughs> if anybody wants to fess up to who sent me these books, let me know because there was no names. Um, <laughs> Rachel, you're so funny. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah, it's good to be home. It was a long week <clears throat> because, um, you know, the hurricane was going to hit that morning. The morning, we left on Sunday. I think it hit either Sunday evening or Monday morning. It, it hit while we were driving, right? We couldn't go through Louisiana because that's how we usually go. Like, you know, here's Atlanta and here's San Antonio. We usually go cut to Alabama, go down to South Alabama along Mississippi and Louise, you know, along the coast and then into Houston and into San Antonio. Well, because of Hurricane we had to go across the top of all those states and then down through Texas this way, which added about two hours. It added about, instead of like 16 hour drive, it was like an 18 hour drive. <coughs> but we couldn't go there because of hurricane. So then we were in San Antonio when the hurricane hit. So when we left, we couldn't go this way because a lot of these places don't even have electricity still. So we had to go back up East Texas across um, the top of the, well, more toward three quarters of the top of the states and then back down to Atlanta. So it added a couple of hours to our trip. So it was, it was, it, and it took a day and a half, you know, a full day, 10 hours, one day, you know, 10, 11 hours, and then seven 
at, you know, the next day. So we drove for like four of those days was driving. So yeah, it was, uh, it was a long week. So hi, Sarah. Let's see. Dot Maseki. Uh, Kalu oh, is that Kalu um, who else? I'm, I'm sure I'm missing people coming in. And if you if you're watching the recording or you're watching a uh, lurking, do not leave me a comment saying, "You why do you say hi to everybody?" <laughs> I got one of those last week. Uh, it is a chat show. It's a live show. It's a live chat. Make sure you have live chat clicked or you won't see all the chat. Live chat. It's a live chat art show. So, it's a chat show. I say that all the time and people still say you chat too much. <laughs> So yeah, it's a chat show, people. I, you don't need to tell me. We talk a lot. <laughs> uh, thank you, Kimberly. Thank you. So yeah, it was a it was a long it was a long week, and everything the the everything went so smooth with mom's you know service, the funeral, everything was so it went so smooth, and um, <clears throat> yeah, it it all went really really well. And me and my sisters and, uh, of course, you know, other family and friends. And so it went really, really well. So and thank you all for all the comments, the well wishes, the cards. I got a stack of cards here from you guys. Thank you so much for the cards. Uh, I really appreciate the support. So um, hi, Kimberly. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. <laughs> so instead of saying we chat too much, y'all, whoever complains about, it, ought to just join right in. Come on down, <laughs> come on down, and chat with us. Yeah. So anyway, um, I know, right, <laughs> right, Rachel. I can't imagine. So anyway, that's what we do here. So if chatting's not for you, or you just want to see the art projects. Put us on mute and just scrub to the art projects. You know that little, remember I showed you all this card that one of the girls made. Look, this is what you do. If you don't want to see something, just move that right, right along there like that. And then don't email me. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, let's see. Julianne says, I'm just here for the chat. <laughs> Oh, so anyway, and then the other announcement uh, that I want, and again, if somebody wants to fess up to who sent these to me, let me know. Uh, also in my mail <clears throat> was a notice. <coughs> Sorry, guys, let me take a sip of juice. I got to start getting my voice going again. So I will not be here Monday the 27th. And, um, you know, we'll see how, you know, how long that takes. Last uh, time I got called, I think I had, uh, I never got into uh, to a trial or anything, but I was there for three days. So I may not be there the 29th either. So just a, just a FYI, I got jury duty Monday the 27th. That was, that, that notice was in my uh, box with all of y'all's wonderful cards. <clears throat> so... Um, I don't, I really don't mind Rachel because, you know, I really don't mind. It's like, now if I, if I'd got stuck there for a long time, I'd be minding. But anyway, the other thing, um, Wednesday, uh, we're going to do the lamp unboxing, the coloring lamp, coloring lamp unboxing on Wednesday. I thought, uh, I talked to Ethan and, uh, that's going to be the, that'll be a better day for us to do the coloring lamp unboxing okay so we're going to do that on wednesday so if you're interested in seeing that and um ethan is the coloring you can find the color i think it's the coloring lamp.com is that right uh pacola uh i, I should have i should have copied and pasted it before i started but i think it's the coloring lamp.com and he's also on instagram as the coloring lamp let me go over there let me go to the ig so uh let's see and we got some cat and paste and a few and trisha y'all been doing some awesome um awesome um coloring pages let's see the coloring <clears throat> lamp hang on yeah all one word oh wait no that's do they start a new one 
Oh, this is a, that must be the old one, or did he start a new one? Because this one has no post, and I'm not following, so it must have another. Did he start a new one on the Instagram? Um, it's weird. Let me look. Let me go to my. Um, coloring line. Yeah, that, that that's a different one. Okay, so it's it's no it's there's no the. It's just coloring lamp. Coloring lamp is the Instagram. If you put the coloring lamp, that's not the one. So go to coloring lamp without the the coloring, just coloring lamp. So hi, Shelly. Who else am I miss? I'm sure I'm missing people. Muffy, Barb, Nettie. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do that on Wednesday. Okay. And uh, oh, thanks, Janet. Thanks, Janet. There we go. So there's the uh, website. And uh, so I'm looking forward to doing that on Wednesday. Okay. Thanks, Janet. Uh, Pacola probably put it in five uh, pages ago, five chat pages ago. <laughs> Just kidding, Janet. <laughs> Thanks, Ashley. Happy Moogle Monday to you, too. And uh, Janet, um, are you? I'm sure you're streaming today, but uh, do you know what you're going to do today? Ah, thanks, Julia. Thank you. So um, I do have some Jade Summer books uh, in Spire Studio. I do have some Jade Summer, a couple of them. I don't have. I don't collect them like some people do. But yeah, I have a couple Jade Summer. I can't put my hand on them right now, and I can't tell you which ones they are. Because my all my coloring books, I moved to the uh, mural room. <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, let's see. Um, I'm not sure. ZZ? ZZ? ZZ Dolfini? Is that Italian? ZZ? Italian? There's Cat and Paste. Yeah, if y'all don't follow Cat and Paste on um, IG, her and... Um, let me go over here. Um, let me see. Let me search for Cat and Paste. Cat and Paste and Trisha Green both had some really good, uh, pretty pages. Here's Cat and Paste September page. Look at this, guys. Look at look at this. Cat and Paste and Trisha Green have really been rocking the color book pages. So here's another one. Look at that, guys. And this one. So if you want to see some in inspired color book pages, go follow Cat and Paste. Um, let me get to the top here. There it is. Cat and Paste here. And that's her That's her uh, YouTube right there. I don't think she, you, you do, do you, I don't think you do videos. Do you Cat and Paste? I call her C&P. Hi, Mama Four. How you doing? And uh, Elvia, Elvia, good morning. Um, then let me go over here and look up Trisha, Trisha Green 01. So Trisha Green 01. And she's been doing some really cool pages as well. So those two girls have been rocking the color book world. <laughs> So, yeah, go follow Trisha Green 01 and Cat and Paste here. And, well, there's others, too, but follow them because those are the, those are the ones that I saw just recently. Um, you know, kind of I haven't kept up too, with social media too much this last week, but I, scroll, I scrubbed through it, you know. So, yeah. You're welcome. Awesome pages. Um, let's see. So, um Thank you, Pacola. And, and anytime uh, Pacola or any of the mods put a link in the chat, it is a, a direct link. I mean, it's a clickable link. So you can click on it from here and open a new window. So let's see. Um, <laughs> yeah, the Borg. Yeah. Yeah. And hi, Juanita, by the way. She spins Juanita. She has a YouTube channel. Um, I.E. Littlefoot. That's what that's my nickname for She Spins Juanita, Littlefoot. 
Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, Inspire Studios wants to. I don't think Cat and Paste has a YouTube. I, if I she does, I don't follow it, and that's a, that I don't think. Um, but uh, let's see. I'm trying to keep up with chat. So, uh, yeah, my name's Dee Dee Willingham. I stream every Monday and Wednesday, 9 a.m. Eastern, but I come on at 8.30 to chat. <laughs> to chat. Come on to chat. So, and again, uh, Wednesday, we're going to unbox the coloring lamp and work on that. And I have the other one that I already finished, so I'll probably uh, hook it up over here to the side. And so we can look at that one in between uh, the unboxing and the coloring of the new one. So we'll have one set up and then one uh, which I think has different wood um, circles that hold it together uh, on the new one. But I'll still have the old one set up so you can see what it looks like lit up. So we can kind of go back and forth between the lit up one and the one that I'll work on, on the coloring lamp. Um, what... What are oh what am I you mean for uh Inktober you mean Elvi uh, Elvia or Halloween? You, do you mean when you're asking me what am I doing for Halloween? Do you mean what am I doing for Inktober? I think this will be is it my seventh or eighth year? This will be uh either the seventh or eighth year to do Inktober. I, I'll tell you what I thought about. Yeah, Inktober. Yeah, okay, Elvia. Um, I'm thinking of doing. Oh, thanks, Ashley, for the super chat. Oh, oh, thanks, Ashley. And I do want to try to get back into giving um, the Super Chat and the uh, PayPal tip jar. I want to try to get back probably, we'll see in October. We'll see. You know, I, I'm not promising anything this month, especially since I'm gonna, at the end of the month, right when I'm going to need to send anything out. I'm going to have jury duty. So if y'all missed it, <clears throat> Monday, September 27th, till who knows how long I'm going to have jury duty. Um, so what I thought I would do, I know, and y'all are going to think, what? <laughs> Remember one year I did the cats. I did Oliver and Malibu dressed up in costumes, a different costume. And this is all on ins my Instagram, guys. So if you go to my Instagram, you can see all my Inktobers for the past, I don't know, seven years, I think. So let me show you my Instagram here. So here's my Instagram right there, just Inky Well with an I. But if you put in Dee Dee Willingham, you'll find it too. Either one, Inky Well with an I or Dee Dee Willingham, you can find me on either one. And um, <laughs> yeah, Ashley. So anyway, I think I'm going to use <clears throat> this journal. I think I'm going to use this 8x8 eight eight journal to do my this year's Inktober, and it could change. This is just what I have in mind right now. And I'm going to draw chickens and roosters. <laughs> I'm going to draw 31 chickens and roosters. Maybe maybe their feet, their a head, their full body, just different chickens and roosters for Inktober. I don't know why. I just thought I'm going to do chickens and roosters, and I think I'm going to do them in this, form, in this size. In this size. You like that? Okay. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I think that's what I'm going to do. And so I think I'll also, I'll take that book with me on jury duty. Maybe I won't even have to, maybe it'll only be that one day, you know, and, uh, and I'll be back that Wednesday, the 29th. But I'm going to take that sketchbook with me to sketch them out. So I'll take my uh, phone or the iPad and so I have some chicken and rooster references and I'll sketch them out. So I can sketch roosters and chickens while I'm waiting on jury duty. And, um, oh, oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, <laughs> I know. What was before that? What was before? Is that, is that the first one? Sea creatures, that ink spot. Yeah, the ink spot one was, um, what do you call it? Uh, Celtic knots and, and reptiles. Sea creatures, Celtic knots and reptiles, kanji, the cats and calligraphy, movie monsters my way, and the bug poster. So that's 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So this will be my seventh year. So this will be my seventh year to do and hopefully complete Inktober. 
and there it's all on my Instagram. So y'all can go back and scroll through the past seven, five, you know, six years to see all the other ink inktobers. So yeah. Uh, oh, thanks. Thanks, Kalura. So let's see. <laughs> oh, Ashley. So yeah, that's what I'm Oh, thank you, Linda. Thank you so much for the super sticker. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. That's so sweet, guys. Thank you so much. Thanks, Linda. Um, do you know where I got? Um, yes, I got it on. It's the, I think it's the Ohuhu one. Let's see. I should have kept the thing back here. Is it the Ohuhu marker one? I think so. No. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Okay. Yeah, it's the Ohuhu 78. I try to keep these in the back so I remember. 78, um, and it's like a cardstock. It's real smooth. It's like Bristol. It's not the watercolor one. This is the marker one, okay? It's the marker one. And then you can see we've done some testing back here. But look, it doesn't go, well, that one went through a little bit. Um, but they send you, they also send you one of these, these plastic sleeves. These come in the book. So that if you do, because they make this for the Ohuhu markers, right? They make this to go with it. Okay. And uh, so that's what it is. Ohuhu 78 sheets. And it, I think it's called the marker. I think it's called the marker book. And um, yeah, it's got the strap on it and everything. Yeah, I think it's eight, eight and a half by eight and a half. Let me see. Sir. Let me hang on. Let me look exactly. Let me get the right side of this clear ruler. Yeah, eight and a half by eight and a half. Okay. So, yeah, it's a good one. I really like it. I have a couple of them. Yeah, Stephanie. Um, let's see. It was also the end of September. Was there still end of November? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, you girls, you're something else. Uh, let's see. Uh, what else? I'm sure I'm missing people. Color with Melissa. So, okay. So let me go ahead and again, if anybody wants to fess up to sending me these books, they're stunning books. I have a couple other Harold Feinstein books that I've um, used for different projects. And I told Janet about these books, and I said, I'm not sure if I want to cut them up or do altered books in them. She goes, oh, you'll use them. <laughs> so we're going to go, we're going to look through these. So if anybody wants to tell me who, uh, send me these. Hi, Diana. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you guys and for the thumbs up or thumbs down. Counts the same. <laughs> So anyway, um, we're going to look through these, the tulips and the orchids. There's his, his photography is stunning. So we're going to do that. But let me go ahead and show some of the happy. And this is just a board, guys. I have um, um, a foam board covered with this faux, this faux brick wallpaper. You know, And what I like about this is really inexpensive. You can get this on Amazon. Just look up vinyl wallpapers and then look at all the, now don't, some of them are real expensive. I think I don't, I didn't pay more than like seven bucks for a roll. So, you know, get the, don't get, you know, look at the prices of them. So anyway, um, so it does move, but that way I can kind of adjust things as I go. So then I remember last, uh, the week before last, last time I was here, I was saying I could not remember the kind of pin with the gold pin i looked and looked i could not find my gold pin this is what i was looking for this exact pin i could not find it in my stash of of wall o markers i could not find it janet goes janet goes well i'll send you one <laughs> this is what janet sent me and the note says from jet pins i hate when you run out or can't find crap when you are streaming. So here you go. Love you lots. <laughs> so I've got to keep that uh, note. That you... <laughs> so Janet sent me not just the gold pin. <laughs> so thank you. Um, thank you, Janet. Thank you so much. I know, right? <laughs> 
<laughs> so she sent me um, different sizes of the, and it's the pin, you know, the Pintel Pin Touch Gold. And uh, I tried to find it on Amazon this exact pin. I don't know that I ever found the exact pin, but uh, and then these are the these two are paint. These these two are the pin touch. This is the one I'm talking about, and it's got the you know the roller ball inside. You got to shake it up, and this is the best gold pin. <clears throat> this is the brightest gold pin, and then these are two paint markers. So she sent me those. And then she, of course, had to restock my um, pot white Posca because y'all know I go through these. I go through the white Posca. <laughs> and then I haven't opened this yet. So <clears throat> Jenna, Jenna doesn't know how I cannot open something when I first get it. That I can hold off. <laughs> that I can hold off to show you guys. I don't know who sent these. I do not know who sent the, oh, the other one, the foliage book. Um, I'd have to go find the book, Pagola. I'd have to go find the book. But who, if whoever left me uh, bought these for me, if you want to leave a comment or message me and let me know you're the one, so um, yeah. But that would that would be good too, Pagola. Um, this is a manga white paint pen. Now I do have some of the other ones of these paint pens. I do not have white. So, and it's all in Japanese, so I can't give you really much uh, information about it. But we're going to open it up, and we're going to... So, if you ever get these paint pens, like this, <clears throat> if you ever get these, how they work is you unscrew this, and you take off the little ring. Sometimes they're red, sometimes they're yellow. You take that off, and then now when you put this back together, it's going to activate. It's going to like punch a hole into the thing there. It's going to activate it. And uh, so this is what it looks like. It's a Korotaki, or Kur uh, that's how I say it, Korotaki, but it's probably not the exact way to, but it's a Zig Korotaki. And uh, so let's see if I, and you just give it a little bit of a squeeze. Let me use this envelope here from, um, and you don't need this unless you're going to use it for something, but I'm not. Um, give it a little squeeze and a little shake, and they'll, they'll, it starts working pretty quick. <clears throat> I can hear it in there coming. Don't squeeze it too hard or you're going to splat it. So we'll get it going here in a minute. There it goes. Okay. <laughs> so it's a white um let me get all that so it's not splotchy there we go it's a white paint pen and um which is good for very you know because look look how pointy that is right so thank you janet thank you for that and all the other pens <laughs> you're such a kook <laughs> all right so um, so let's see. Hi, Anna. I think I said hi to Sarah. Um, oh, I'm going to. Oh, so Janice said she doesn't have one of these. She's going to let me be the guinea pig. I like the other Kurataki paint pens. The other one, I don't have a white one. I have, a, you know, I bought a few other colors. Uh, I, I got a red, a teal, a sepia, black and gray. I got them all from Jet Pens, too. You can buy them individually or you can buy them in, I think you can buy them in sets. Sets are really expensive. So if you haven't ever used one of their paint pens before, then I would recommend getting, you know, get a black and a sepia, you know, or red, you know, get just get a couple of, you know, make sure you like them. But that's the, this is the one here. And this is what it looks like. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> okay thank you janet and again if anybody wants to fess up on the books uh, <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> thank you kathy thank you thank you so much let's see there's patricia i hope oh, there's a little sister cheryl thanks guys for being here um thanks everybody um i'm glad to be back and again, it uh, everything went so smooth. The family, everything was just couldn't have been better. It couldn't have been a smoother 
you know, everything. The trip out there, we had no rain. It was sunny the whole way. We 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 kind of went north and beat the, the hurricane. And then when the hurricane went through and then we went back north and uh, because because there was no electricity and stuff in a lot of the cities, we would travel going south from San Antonio back to Atlanta. So we went the north route across 20 and we had perfect weather coming and going. So we like went right in between the hurricane. And um, so, yeah, it, uh, it and the and the funeral, everything was was uh, was uh, I mean, you know, I don't want to say it was an awesome funeral, but I mean, it was smooth and everything went really well. And um, of course, then we you know, then the procession went to uh, Fort Sam Houston because mom, you know, mom was married to the married to the military so she had you know she was buried at um, Fort Sam and it looked just like Arlington guys it was it was it was it was a beautiful manicured um it was just a beautiful cemetery it looked like Arlington cemetery so manicured and beautiful and there were there were dragonflies flying everywhere and uh, right at the last, when the preacher was saying the last bit of uh, announcement, while we were all sitting there, somebody else, one of the soldiers had a funeral and they had a 21 gun salute that went off right during mom's ceremony as well. So it was just, it was the whole thing. It, it, it just couldn't have been smoother. And again, guys, thank you for all the cards, the well wishes, everything that, um, that y'all uh, sent. Hi, Arlene. Let's see who else. I know I'm missing people coming in. Thank you, guys. So, all right. So the next thing I want to show, I'm not, you know, I, I, I know a lot of y'all I'm closer to and we message more than others, but I do appreciate everybody that sent a card, well wishes, a nice comment. And, um, and all the comments, the most comments I've ever got on YouTube, I think, was under mom's, the video I did last week showing uh, the mom's little scrapbook pages before we left. So thank you for every one of those. I tried to give you all a heart when I read each and every one. So I got this envelope from Devin Rex, and I had not looked through it yet. So we're going to look through it together. She sent me a bunch of collage fodder, which we may use today. Maybe we'll do something with this today. So this was in a folder, I mean, in, a, in an envelope from Devin Rex. So let's go ahead and look at this. This would be a cool, oh, and I like that one too. This would be some uh, a cool one to do uh, something on top of to make a collage. Hi, Kenneth. I know, I know. Yeah, thanks, Kenneth. So, um, yeah, and thanks, everybody. And I just got to say this one more time. You know, Mom... Um, she never, she never suffered, was never in any pain. The The last couple of days, she just fell asleep and didn't wake up. And, um, and she was never in any pain or anything throughout her illness. And no, it wasn't the virus. I get people say, asking that. No, it was not the virus. So just FYI, because people ask me. And um, so, yeah, she just, she went, uh, she just fell asleep. So we were thankful for that. Um, yeah, yeah, Rachel, going to need a portal coming into this cloud for sure. So, and then, uh, just all different things. This is, looks like out of an art book. This looks like somebody just drew a path. I thought I was going to say John Wayne, but mm, I'm not sure. And then, uh, so... They look like like this is how the American Portrait Gallery is there a little note here. Here's a few. Oh, rock. This was a Rockwell. Is this a Rockwell too? Huh. Okay. Maybe so. This one I know is. There's a John Wayne. So and here's some paint. Some of her up. Uh, if y'all don't follow um, Devin Rex, I think it's um, Placola. What's her? Uh, Devin Rex's channel name. Is it Devin Rex for to you? I can't remember. Hi, Kenneth. How you doing? Um, but anyway, she has a YouTube channel. I think it's Devin Rex for you. And she does the coolest jelly prints, painty papers. So, oh, here she wrote a note on this one. Let's see. It's in light blue. <clears throat> A cream marble, um, marble, marbleizing technique. 
so let's see again i have a lot gone through this i'm going through it with you guys here's some more of her papers and uh then this looks like yeah this is another see look how she does she kind of combines the collage and painty paper oh devin oh there it is okay devin oh sorry <laughs> it goes by quick thank you thank you janet thanks everybody's putting it in thanks kalora devin rex for art for art i was thinking it was for you but for art and uh so she does these cool painty papers and uh she has some videos on how she does it so um and then pacola put a direct link into the channel there as well thank you pacola and don't forget guys and this goes for the recording too even and this is not just my uh, videos but any live stream you it and when you're watching the recording you have to click the live chat because it defaults to top chat so if you're watching a recording of somebody's stream and you're not going to see all the chat unless you physically go at the top and click live chat so you won't see it all so make sure whether you're watching live or memorex <laughs> that you click live chat so um let's see and so anybody that's coming in there's judy oh thanks guys for being here shelly so oh look she sent me some <laughs> she sent me some grogu stickers i think they're stickers oh my gosh uh, I, I think they're stickers because it's on sticker paper. Oh my gosh, there they go. I think that there. So they're stickers. I'll have to put this on my iPad. <laughs> That's Grogu saying thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Devin Rex. <laughs> so, um, yeah, thank you so much. And now here's a couple more. And uh, then here's some post-its. Well, I won't take them out now, but there's some post-its, different flags, post-it flags. And so this is some more of her paper, some strips. Oh, look, she put it on sticker paper. So she put some, so she made her own washi tape. So she put that on sticker paper. This is some of her uh, painty papers. And then some pretty napkins. Oh, is this another one? Oh, this is, oh, it's a, oh, Janet. It's a ruler, Janet. You watch Devin Rex, Darlene? Yeah, she's awesome. Look, Janet, it's a ruler. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'll put that over to the side. <laughs> Janet, for if y'all don't know, Janet loves her rulers. And I didn't see, um, uh, Janet probably answered and said what she was doing today, but I didn't see. And then here's some uh, different uh, napkins for napkin journals. And some postcard, a postcard. And then I know this is something she made. It's, oh, she wrote me a note here. Let's see. Thanks for all the inspiration, ideas, tips, and tricks you share with us with such enthusiasm. Here's a bit of happy mail I have been collecting for you for a while now. I hope you enjoy it. So pass along as you see fit. All my best to you and your family. And uh, her, her name, well, I don't, I guess she goes, she says her name, but I call her, I, I go by her online name, Devin Rex. This card was using my hand carved glasses. Okay, so she, there's a hand carved stamp. Um, that she did so she hand carved the stamp and you can see it's all stamped in the back very cool I'll have to put this in the fibs book and then a little bee stencil and some more of her painty papers what's in here I waited to open this up with you guys yeah I didn't know if she wanted yeah but she does say her name she does say her name on uh on stream so yeah Thanks, Jane. And good morning, Jane. Thank you. Um, Janet, go use that ruler. I should keep it handy because, you know, like when I'm measuring books, it's a six inch, it's a six inch ruler. You know, when I'm measuring things for you guys all the time, I have to go get my big ruler. So, um, <laughs> all right. So let's see what's in here. So this is one of her um, uh jelly plated uh papers here so she's got in here what is it what's this oh it's like a little it's like a little book look <clears throat> it's a little book art is the essence of beauty 
make your life a work of art make your life a work of art look it's got the little art supplies isn't that awesome it's so cute and it folds up into a little book and then the back here's the back thank you so much Devin. now did you sign it uh yeah there's no signature on there so let me write on the back here I don't have a Sharpie pen. I need a Sharpie pen. Hang on. There's one. No, nope, that's a Sharpie. I need a, a Sharpie. Sharpie pen. Not the gel. The new S gel. But if y'all haven't used those new S gel pens, these Sharpie, these are, these are like smooth as butter. I would so recommend. And they come in blue. I mean, the barrels come in black, blue, and white. But they all write black. Okay, so I'm going to write on here. I'm just going to write on here, Devin, on the back. Devin Rex. There. I put her name on the bottom there. So cute. Okay, so let's see. Chad, she used the dominoes from, oh, yeah, that's right. I haven't bought any of those, but they're, dominoes they're those the thin card stock dominoes that you can get at the dollar tree let me click that on there there we go yes i know isn't it a great idea to make a little book with it right pacola hi julie topaz good to see you good to see you jan said i can attest that those are nice pins kind of a fat nib but they're smooth yeah it's kind of like a medium point they are kind of a, a they're not a fine point but that's yeah but they're nice they're gel they're really a nice gel pen so so anyway look how pretty that is and then let's see what this is it's the back oh the little um little pieces of the calendar that you can use, you know, when I do the, the little um, art cards, these are good for that. So, thank you so much, Devin Rex. And if we do a collage here, we'll try to do something with this. Okay. And again, whoever sent me these books, if you've popped in, hi, 3G. Um, if you sent me these books, let me know who you are because I think they came from the book depository. There's no, like, Amazon, you can leave a comment. Like Janet did, her snark. <laughs> <laughs> with uh with uh what do you call it uh jet pens but um so there was no note so i don't have any idea who sent me that so thank you whoever did all right so let me put this kind of like this so i can still get at it there and uh leave this out if y'all missed it um i told janet i needed you know well i told everybody i was out i couldn't find my one pin like this so janet said she'd send me one <laughs> <laughs> Janet, you're so funny. You're so funny. Okay, so then I got a little box from Janice Johnson, who's here, JL Johnson. Um, so she was saying, thank, there's no words. My prayers go out to you and your husband. And so she had, she made a few things, and I hope you will use and enjoy. Um, she said, the fabric is for my prayer pouches or whatever else you may want. So I haven't gone through it yet. I waited. I did open this box, but I haven't gone through it. I just tried to see how you know how the box op open. So I'm going to take this out, move the box, and um, so thank you so much, Janice. And let's see. She sent me some um, some of the fabrics. I'm not sure if she got these from Amour Fabrics, but they Amour Fabrics Selena has a, awesome fabrics, and um, they look like this. So that's why I'm guessing. So she sent me all kinds of fabrics here that are, you know, like from India. And, oh, she sent me a little pack of beads and, and, and uh, string. Look at the little scissors charm. Oh, my gosh, that's so cute. I have to give that to my, um, to Boo, who sews incessantly and pays for her rent. <laughs> <laughs> Boo remakes um, thrift store clothes and sells them on, like, sells them in a Poshmark and where, I don't know where. But um, 
yeah, so she remakes a lot of clothes in her dorm. And uh, <laughs> so she can pay for her rent. Let's see. Janet loves you, Sister D. You give so much. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah, Janet. Janet. Uh, are you talking about Janice? Are you, are you talking about Janet, Judy? <laughs> Janet. Both of them. Both of them. So here's uh, some different fabrics. Just some fabric strips. Look at these. Look how pretty these are. These are really cool. These are real cool. Look at this. Have the little sequence on them. Thank you so much, Jan. She was here a minute ago. I think, I don't know if she's still here. Hello, Alice. There she is. There's Jan. This is, uh, this is J.L. Johnson, who's talking to Arlene. <laughs> and just little, um, like, uh, quilt squares. So, yeah, this, this is awesome, like, for the prayer pouches and she sent these right here and this is usually what i use on the front of the prayer pouches and for those y'all don't know what a prayer let me get the one i have here so i give them away as quick as i make them but i keep this one for my sample and now i add some beads to them that's denise texting me let me see how i can get this untangled here there we go so um I now add I now add beads right here and here, but this is what the kind of prayer pouches I make. Oh, thank you, Nettie. Thank you so much for the super chat. We all love you, Dee, for all you do. Thank you. Thank you, Nettie. That's so sweet. Thanks, Nettie. <clears throat> Let's see. Thanks, thanks, Nettie. So this is what they look like. This is one kind of one of my prototypes. And then I put a uh, some kind of a pin or uh, some kind of a charm, you know, and I either sew it on or pin it on, depending if it's a, a, a like a pendant piece or a pin that goes on the front. And then I add some trims and then I put a little prayer on the inside. And like I said, now I add beads here and here. But this is like my prototype and it's all hand sewn. I don't use a sewing. I don't even own a sewing machine. I, I hand sew everything, and um, and then I give them away. So, um, so these are the kind of pieces that I use, like for the little trims, and the little borders, and the fronts. See things like this, and it just makes it just makes a little um, a little sparkle i guess i should say so thank you so much janice for all this i really do appreciate it. and then some of this so let's put that right here let's see if i can i know i won't be able to get it back in this bag so i, I won't try i'll just put it i'll just put it with my um other other fabric let me see what denise says oh it's because i'm not answering it repeats to me the same okay 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 <laughs> Once you read it, it stops dinging. And then she sent me some yarns and some fibers. So thank you so much for thinking of me. Let's see what's in here. Let me put this over on this stack. So this little, oh, look, it opens up. <laughs> look at that. It's made, this is a, this is a baby wipe, um, you know, the top to it. Look. I've never seen anybody use those. And you always wonder, what can I do with them? But look, she cut took took that off and made it into a little, isn't that clever? Put it on top of the box. Look, put a little coffee beans. Isn't that so clever? That's so clever, Janice. <laughs> and then she sent little coffee. Oh, look, little coffee beans and some little charms all kinds of little charms here all kinds of little charms so cute look it's all wrapped up so pretty it's just so it's so lovely thank you so much and uh with a little belly band on there let's see another little charm a little cross 
and she made a little envelope out of it. I don't know if I can get, let's see how I don't want to take it apart if I don't have to. Let's see, it looks like there's a little book and something in here. There we go. Follow your heart, but always bring coffee. <laughs> she has the heart with a little coffee bean. Because you know my channel is Coffee and Art in the Morning. <laughs> oh, isn't that so sweet? The little belly band and a little book with coffee papers. Oh, look. Let's see. Oh, see. Aw, aw. So she put, the, she put some quotes in here. Oh, it's from the, when you walk through a storm, hold your head up high. I forget who, who, um. You know, but they always have this on. Well, they used to have it. I don't think they do a sign. off. Well, I, no channel sign off anymore. But maybe some of y'all might remember. And maybe they did different ones at different places. But when I was growing up, at the end of the day on a channel, you know, you, you had your three channels, CBS, NBC, ABC. They always played this song at the end of the day. At the, when they, before they signed off on the TV station. They had this, when you walk through the storm, hold your head up high and don't be afraid of the dark. Look, she wrote all the lyrics of that out. And um, so did, did anybody else have that on their TV? So thank you so much, Janice. That's so sweet. And so she wrote all the lyrics out. And the end is, you'll never walk alone. Did anybody else have that? So, oh, this is a magnet? Oh, it is a magnet. Okay, awesome. I have uh, the side of my refrigerator because I have stainless steel on the front so nothing sticks to it. But the side of the refrigerator has a uh, full of magnets from top to bottom. So, yeah, I, I have my magnet collection. Let's see what we got here. When there are no words. So it's a little, like, it, I think it's little. Let's see how it opens. How do I get this open? Well, they're cards to color and comfort, but why can't I open it? Is it on the top? Do I have to cut something? Is there a piece of tape here? I think there's a piece of tape. Let me, there's a piece of tape right there. Or there we go. Okay. Oh, I guess there's, there's one on the back too. There we go. There we go. <clears throat> See if I can get that without cutting one of the. I know some of y'all freak out with an exacto knife. I got it. I got it under control. <laughs> uh, is that what it is, Rachel? You remember that, Judy, at the end of the, when they signed off the TV? I know some of y'all going, you mean they signed, what do you mean they signed off on the TV? <laughs> the TV station would shut down for the night. <laughs> okay, so look, oh, look, all different little sending you a hug. These will be nice for me to also share with the fibs when I send out cards. So this will be a good one to share. Um, Janice, so thank you so much. All kinds, and you can color them. Now it's slick, so you'd have to color it with the marker, right? Pencil, pencil's not going to go on that. So if you get one of these, you'll have to color it with, uh, you'll have to color it with uh, marker. These are so nice. Thank you so much. This is so thoughtful. And all of y'all that sent cards, thank you so much. I'm just going to go down and check my P.O. box today. Um, so that that's really sweet. So I can uh, I'll use these to send out. I have a stack of I try to keep a stack of get well sympathy, you know, cards like that that I can send out to you guys. And uh, these will be awesome to add to it. So thank you so much, Janice. And I'll put your little note. Um, I'll put your note in the uh, fibs book. <clears throat> so let me put this in here for now, and I'll go back through it. And uh, put the magnet on the refrigerator. So thank you so much, guys. Y'all are so, the fibs are so awesome. They're so awesome. Hi, Gary. How you doing? Let's see. I think I said hi to Sarah. I know I'm missing people coming in. Thank you, Janice. 
Um, <laughs> you're what? Thank you so much. Darlene goes, I remember all those statics on the TV at the end of the day. Yeah. But they play that song. They play that song, uh, at least on one of the stations. I just remember it from that. So, and if y'all don't follow Gary, make sure y'all go follow Gary Shipman. He's an awesome artist. He does a lot of uh, YouTube um, drawing videos while he's working on his Titan uh, series of graphic novels that he's already got two out, a color book. And now he's working on having a color edition, a color, you know, instead of a black and white book, a colored one. That's, um, and he's working on that. So y'all follow Gary. I know, right, Rachel? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly, Mom, for. So again, um, I'm not sure who sent me these because there was no name. So if anybody wants to fess up. <laughs> <Nats>. <laughs> well i know my way around craft knives <laughs> and uh, wallpaper because we used to when i was a visual merchandiser you know we had and this was back when wallpaper was like the thing and um we were we had to wall, re wallpaper the displays at the department stores like every every other day we were doing another uh room display so this is what we use to cut wallpaper with. So, yeah, I'm, I'm very, now I say that. I, but I've also sliced my thumb before cutting. So, you know, mm. sip of juice. Okay, one more time. I want to remind everybody I have jury duty on the Monday the 27th. Um, just FYI, I want to keep telling y'all that. So when I'm not here on the 27th, y'all will know. So uh, let's go ahead and look through these real quick. and. Um, I know that the person that sent them to me wants me to either use them. Come on in, honey. Are you heading out? Yeah. Okay. You going to check my mail? Yeah. I'll let you know. I'll be back shortly. So, all right. See you. See you. <laughs> see you, you just wipe off that kiss? <laughs> Hunter has this nice gray goatee and mustache, but, like, if he just drank something or brushed his teeth, it's got a little moist in there. So then when I wipe, he thinks I'm wiping off his kiss, but I'm not wiping off the kiss. <laughs> All right, honey, see you in a little bit. I mean, I got to tell you, my cats were so happy to see us. It was just like... You don't even know. I mean, Denise took great care of them and all, but it was, uh, yeah. <laughs> but they were happy to be home because um, they have they just have room to run and play. So um, this one's called The Infinite Tulip, Harold Feinstein. I have a couple other books that the girls have sent me uh, by him, and they're beautiful, beautiful. Um, just want you to know that when, you know, <laughs> you sound like Janet. <laughs> Janet, he loves to tease you guys. I'm serious. I'm serious. He's just teasing. <laughs> so let me take off the cover so you can see. They're just beautiful photography. And this one's tulips, and the other one is uh, orchids. So <laughs> yeah, we're cute together, Nats. <laughs> let me go ahead and zoom in one. So I thought about. Um, I thought about, uh, let me see, where is it? Let me see here. Working in this one, maybe. I'm not sure, like altering these. This, this one is single sided. So if I wanted to use any of these, I could either, I can either do the full book as an altered book or I could use them individually. The orchid one is, the orchid one is not single sided. So I'd have to choose one side or the other if I cut them out. Or I can just use, um, you know, just use it as an altered book as well. So I, I just thought we could kind of look through these and I'll rechat. Let's see, Talo. Who else is here? Yeah, oh yeah, there we go. I'm going to remember that one. I'm going to remember that one, Julie. <laughs> Good one. Not wiping off, rubbing it in. <laughs> So, tulips are one of the most beautiful paintings I've ever saw. This tulip petal, six foot square. Okay, let me click on that. So, I don't, uh, yeah, there we go. So, Doc, who lives in the UK, 
is uh, saying that right there. Beautiful in Amsterdam. Yeah, my step grandfather was from the Netherlands. Back then, when I was a kid, we called it Holland, but yeah, he was from the Netherlands and immigrated after World War II to the States, and he always had his Dutch accent all his life. Yeah, and uh, so yeah, familiar with the tulips. Thank you, Dot. <clears throat> So isn't it beautiful, guys? These might be something to, you know, paint or, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll paint one. Now, if you want to see somebody that has the most beautiful garden, I don't know if Kathy uh, Arbor is still here. Kathy Arbor has the most beautiful, and she's in Canada, has the most beautiful flower garden I think I've ever seen. <laughs> if you don't follow her on Instagram, uh, you need to, if you want to see some absolute stunning florals, there she is. So follow Kathy over on YouTube and Instagram and see her beautiful flowers. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll paint or draw one of these today. That would be fun. What do y'all think? So I would like to do that. <clears throat> Get out some, uh, yeah, some, of course, I do everything mixed media, so I'll do watercolor, I'll do pencil, you know. So maybe we'll do that. Yeah, she does, Mama Four. She has a green thumb for sure. So, you know, maybe I'll keep this little book for a book of inspiration. Look at that. Isn't that just stunning, guys? <clears throat> oh, there we go. Pacola put her link in there. Thanks, Pacola. So there y'all go. She does uh she does a I think she has a mixed media stream one day and a watercolor stream one day. So y'all go follow follow Kathy Arbor. Thanks, Pacola. My little snapdragon. Well, yeah, yeah, and of course, Kathy's saying that they haven't had rain for a uh, week, she said, six weeks, but um, she, if you want to see, go on her Instagram and see her beautiful photography. Oh, Jane. <laughs> hey, Devin Rex, thank you so much. I just showed your pack of, uh, uh, pack of collage fodder you sent. Thank you so much. I showed that, and we linked your YouTube channel. Um, well, Picola or, or one of the mods did. Linked your YouTube channel. Look at this, guys. So you might have to paint some of these and then and then cut it up. So maybe we'll go we'll look in this one today and maybe do a little uh, watercolor and color pencil. All right, so let's look at the orchid one. And again, I'm sure you can get these. Uh, I think these come, came from the book depository, but you can also get them on uh, on uh, Amazon. Just look up here. Look up Harold Feinstein. Okay. And you'll see he's got tons of different books. And they're just beautiful photography. Isn't that stunning, guys? So I'm just going to flip through it here. And I know the light's going to change, but... Uh, so this one is, um, this one, most of the pictures are double-sided. This is just the intro to the orchids. I'd like to read that because I'd like to learn a little bit more about orchids. So. so I'm just flipping and reading chat at the same time. Oh, I did. I did, Devin. I did. I, and I pulled this to, I want to do a collage on this. That's going to be a, this will be a cool collage. Thank you so much. And I showed my Grow Gru because I really love the, I love the Grow Gru stickers. <laughs> that was, that was thoughtful, Devin. Thank you so much. I know, isn't it beautiful? But they're, they're single-sided, so you're gonna either, if you cut them out, you're going to have to pick one side or the other. Or just turn this into a full-on, um, you know, 
altered co you know make them make each one a different world you know a collage world so i just wanted to show it show these to you get some inspiration and they're such nice big pictures you know if you want to practice your watercolor your color pencil you know any kind of painting you do you could practice look at that look how that's so lit up right here with the back of it more in shadow that has to be a hard effect to achieve <clears throat> don't think you could do that with your cell phone <laughs> You could probably alter it in an app, but, you know, I, I have the feeling these are not altered. I think they're probably just straight his photography. Yeah, you can see faces in them, right, Jane? Yeah, orchids always have little faces. Pansies, too. Pansies and orchids have little faces on them. Oh, Rachel said, I went to an orchid show. I feel like I was in a high-end jewelry shop. Yeah. So there, any of uh, Harold Feinstein books are, are stunning. I turned one into an altered book. Um, and then I think I have the other. I have, I have a couple of them. And then here's the afterword. Look at these pictures here in the back. Look at that. So just stunning. Let me tell y'all. Let's see. I'll give y'all the ISBN in a year. Okay, so let's end. I'll see. If, sometimes they're in the front. Sometimes they're in the back. Lately, they've been in the back. But I think this book's probably not brand new, so it might be in the front. Let's see, here we go. <clears throat> 2007, Bullfinch Press. And the hardcover is uh, 1, 0, 0. Well, 10 is the, the hardback. 13 is the, the um, well, that, I'm not sure which one this is. Let me go ahead and let me look at the back. I want to make sure I give you the right one. But I can't see it because it's so tiny. Okay, so it is. One zero zero eight two one two six two zero five, and it has an X. I'm not sure what that means, unless it's just because it might be uh, this printed in Spain. So there's this is what it looks like with the dust jacket, and then the tulip, <clears throat> this little tulip book. Hey, Carla. I'm pretty sure I'm missing people coming in. I'm not meaning to. So the Tulip book is Bullfinch Press as well. And this one is 2004. And the ISBN is 082122287490. So I think we'll draw something from this. Let's... um. Let me see what book, I, I mean, what um, paper I want to draw on. So I'm saying, if y'all missed it, I'm going to use my this sketchbook that is a marker. It's the uh, Ohuhu marker uh, sketchbook, and it's got some good, like, uh, kind of Bristol feel paper to it. I'm going to use it, and it is perforated, too. So if you are going to use one of these kind of, one of these books uh, for painting or anything, you got to be careful because perforation, when it gets wet, will just kind of fall out. So if you do any kind of, you know, wet medium on there, you're going to want to, like, uh, tape that or something because it's uh, perforated. But anyway, this is the one I'm going to probably use for my Inktober. And I think for Inktober, I'm going to do chickens and roosters. So, uh, and since I have jury duty on September 27th, I think I'll take this and my phone and do some sketching and get ready for Inktober. Um, so let's see here. Um, do I want, let me see, I'll just get this little watercolor set out. Um, I really, I'm going to be honest, I don't love watercolor paper. I like smoother paper. 
So I'm looking around my room to see what uh, book I want to do this in, what sketchbook. Uh, let's see here. I just want to use one of these. No, that's a little thin. It has to be at least Bristol weight. It needs to be a Bristol weight paper. Maybe I'll just use some Bristol. How about that? Let's see. Uh, I don't want a ginormous pad. Let's see. Here we go. Let's just do this. <clears throat> All right, let's get a couple sheets of Bristol out. This is a little big. I think I should probably cut this down. I'll just do it in the middle, and then I can trim it down. So, yeah, this is just Strathmore Bristol. I bought a bunch of it when it was on clearance at Hobby Lobby. Normally $13.99. It was down to $3.49. But what, what Hobby Lobby did is they got rid of all their Strathmore Canson, and now they're only selling their own Master's Touch brand. So, um, yeah, I don't know what, what the purpose or our reason was. You know, maybe they just want to promote their own brand more. But um, so, yeah, I got a bunch of Clarence uh, papers. Jana said, Dee Dee does one sheet of hot press watercolor. I'm on pins and needles at your county. <laughs> um, I do have some hot press watercolor paper, but it's I'm not like seeing it right in my vision right here. It's not right here. So I'm going to just go ahead and use this, you know. And this is not the best for watercolor either, but I like smooth paper. I just do. Because here's one of the main reasons I like smooth papers, because then I go back with pencil. I like to add pencil uh, detail. And if you have a rough paper, you're not going to be able to blend out your pencil in a flat, smooth realistic way because you got texture right you got texture in the paper so i'd rather have smooth paper where i can use color pencil so yeah all right so here we go let's see what i want to do just think to... <laughs> oh i see what you're saying okay because i asked janet for what or not i didn't ask her she volunteered to send me a pen if y'all weren't here earlier last week or sorry the week before last I said I couldn't find my, my pin touch gold uh, paint pen, ink pen. So Janet said she would send me one. So when I came back from Texas, this was from Jet Pens from Janet. <laughs> and she had a note saying she can't stand when I run out of crap. <laughs> I showed them earlier, guys, if y'all missed it. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Let's see what tulip we might want to draw. <laughs> let's see. Uh, <clears throat> which one kind of strikes my fancy? I love the variegated ones. I'm just kind of looking through. <clears throat> Let me get a sip of juice here. <laughs> that's really pretty i really like that now when i go to draw this i'm not going to try to draw it like like i would trace it you could you know and there's nothing wrong with that if you want to you know an exact replica i'm just gonna i'm gonna just like i'm not gonna try to duplicate every little petal like that i'll just draw it myself however i want <laughs> So let's see. That one's pretty too. I really like the colors in this one. I like the colors of that too, but let's see. So I just thought it would be something to, because, you know, I just got back and trying to get back in the swing of things, get everything put away. I like this one too. This one might, maybe this will be an easier one to start, you know, get warmed up on. Because I did no art while I was gone. I've not I've not done any art in two weeks. None. I did some reading and journaling. Um, and some little doodles in my journal. But I have not done any art. Uh, you, I, I, I don't know if anybody else has ever tried to do art on the road. Like in the car. It's not as you think. Oh, I'm going to do all this art. I, I don't think that. Because I know you, it's hard to do. But if you think, oh, I'm going to draw all this stuff while I'm in the car and while I'm on a trip, it's it's really too, it's too bumpy, guys. Oh, thank you, Carla. 
Thank you so much. You really can't do any, you know, I mean, you can do some doodles and some note taking, but you really can't do much in the way of uh, art while you're in the driving or riding. I should say not driving. I don't, I don't drive in art. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, I think we'll start with this. All right. Let me get a clip here. So kind of clip it open here and I'm going to set it up right there. Okay. <clears throat> Come on, stand up. There we go. All right, so I'm going to sketch it out. Um, let me see. Let me just get a pencil. I did bring I did bring a, a little kit to take with me, but I didn't use it. We were so busy. Um, okay. Hang on, let me tell the news. If I don't answer, it keeps telling me, answer your message, answer your message. Um, yes, Devin, the cats have, are so thrilled. Denise brought them down yesterday, so we didn't have to drive all the way. And they brought them down early. We fixed them um, breakfast tacos so that, um, pay them back for <laughs> driving down and through Atlanta on, on uh, Labor Day weekend. But they came down like at seven, so they beat all the traffic, you know. And uh, so, anyway, I'm just gonna I'm gonna get out a pencil here of some of some kind here. This is what I usually like to draw with, just one of these uh, inexpensive, uh, disposable papermate papermate uh, technical pencils. But now I'm gonna draw really light, so I'm gonna say, tell y'all you probably won't see much. Is having a ma oh domestic is having a massive sale. Yeah, and Domestica, if y'all want some classes, I like Skillshare too. But and Domestica, it, uh, I'd say probably ninety percent of the classes are in Spanish. There's a few that are not, but most of the classes are in Spanish, so you have to read subtitles, which does not bother me. But Domestica has awesome classes, guys. So and uh, Devin was just saying they're having a sale. Okay, thanks, Devin. Okay, so I am going to just. So here's going to be, let me see, let me move my camera over just a little here so I have room. There we go. All right. So here's going to be the top of the tulip. Here's going to be the bottom. And then I'm going to make it real wide like it is in the picture. It's a real wide picture. Okay. And again, I'm not trying to duplicate it. I'm not trying to do it as a portrait of a tulip. I just, uh, <clears throat> and I always have white rubber erasers, whether it's one like this on the pencil or where's my triple? Let's see, where's my, oh, I think I have one in here. These, these are my favorite. And I go through them a lot. I did buy a new one. So this is a brand new one. These are my favorite erasers. The tri-tip general tri-tip uh, white rubber eraser. And same thing for if you add a pencil eraser. Because they don't leave marks. They don't leave uh, any kind of mark on it. So, all right. So just give me a second here. And I'm going to sketch this out. So I'm not looking at chat for just a second. This a little fatter. Can y'all see it a little bit maybe? I know it's going to kind of flash out because of the white paper. <clears throat> Hi, Don Denny. Oh, 
Okay, then these pebbles come around. I'm trying to make it pretty symmetrical. No flower is perfectly symmetrical, obviously. Oh, I'm leaving. I'm making this a little more curved right in here than is the actual flower because I want to see the petal that's right behind them. I want to see these petals more that are right behind. So I put a little extra dip in this. So let's see. Okay. There. And then this petal underneath here kind of goes over that one. Kind of like that. And this one I don't want dipping quite as much. Let's see, it's going to go this way. Put it in caps if y'all are talking to me. Hi, Lady Ch True North Chan. How you doing? So let's see what we can do here with this. Okay, then I want this to kind of come up and over, up and over. All right, I think that's pretty good as far as what I want with it. Again, I, I turned the petals just a little differently. And these two back here have a little bit of a kind of a wave in them. So let's go ahead and put a little bit of a wave in them, give them a little bit more oomph. And then you can just see this right here and right there. And uh, you can barely see a couple other ones way in the back. I'm going to leave those out. Okay. All right. So now what I'm going to do is take a kneaded eraser, if I can find one. I didn't put one in there because I like to take a kneaded eraser and just kind of get rid of some of the um, lighten up the pencil marks. Just lighten it up because so you probably will barely be able to see it. But, you know, when you do, I'm going to do watercolor. Oh, what do I like the most? Color pencil inspiration studios or Inspire, Inspire Studios. I like color pencil. But I like other things as a base, either pan pastel, watercolor, watered down acrylic paint as a base. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just kind of, I'm just going to kind of lightly, just so I can barely see, so I, I can barely see the um, pencil. So y'all might not be able to see it at all. Yeah, it's pretty much going away on camera. But when I add the color, when I start out of the paint, you'll see it. Okay. All right. <clears throat> All right. So I got my sketch. Now I'm just going to use whatever's in this um, set that Janet sent me. She didn't send it to me in this tin. She sent me the paints and I put them in this tin with a couple other. Uh, I might have one or two Jane Davenport's in there, but. Most of them are the M. Grams. I think, right, Janet, the M. Grams, the, the, the ones that kind of stay sticky? Yeah, it does. Okay, so now I am going to get my water here and let's put a little out here. Uh, I need a baby wipe. I'll, I think I'll just go ahead and use a water brush. I think I have also a water brush in here. Make sure there's water in it. Yep. Yeah. 
Okay, so I think I'll just use a water brush. So I'm going to base coat everything with the watercolor. And then I'm going to dry it and then go in there with color pencil. All right, yeah. All right, yeah, Jan, that's what Janet says. So most of these are M. Graham. Thank you, Janet. Okay, so let's see here what I want to start. I think I'm just going to base everything with the yellow first. So I'm going to pick a yellow here and just <clears throat> wet it down. Okay, it needs to have a little bit more, a little bit more kind of green to that yellow. Let's add a little bit, just a touch. That's too much. Okay. There we go. That's good. So I'm going to just base coat everything, the whole flower. Then you'll be able to see it too. <laughs> And I'm not squeezing, there's a water brush, but I'm not squeezing out any water. Okay, I'm not squeezing anything out. There's one little pencil mark here. I didn't quite erase. <laughs> so we'll do a couple tulips. We'll see how much detail I want to, time I want to take to add. If you have any questions, put them in caps. And again, I'm not trying to copy it exactly. I just want it for my inspiration. And I'll, you know, do it however I feel like it. <laughs> I'm not trying to make a botanical illustration and uh, where you want it to be uh, scientifically accurate for that purpose. So I'm just going to get all. And again, I'm also not using watercolor paper. I'm using Bristol. So that I can do the color pencil on top. Okay, there's a start. Uh, okay, so then there is more, it's more of a green tint down in here. Now I'm going to get a little bit of plain water over there so I can smooth that out. So I have some just, you know, regular water over there just to kind of soften the edges there. Okay. Then. Oh, and another thing that I saw when I was in San Antonio, and I couldn't believe it was still there, and it was old. It was definitely old, but y'all know I told y'all the story about when I'd uh, roller skate when I was a kid. Well, like preteen, we'd go roller skating at the, at the roller rink. It was still there. It was still there, and it looked like it was 100 years old, not 60 Oh, thank you, Lady True North Jan, for the super super chat. I need to buy more cat toys. <laughs> I don't know the old account. Oh my gosh. <laughs> thank you, Lady Jan. I'll tell you, the cats are so happy to be home. They are so happy to be home. I mean, let me see if I I think I took a picture here. Hang on. I sent I took a couple pictures to show Denise. Um how happy they are to be home. <laughs> There's Oliver. <laughs> okay, let's add a little bit more green. I need a little bit more water. And... <laughs> Hi, Coloring Corner. How you doing? All right, so this has got, this is, let me add a little bit other green here. 
this is in some shadow. So I'm going to add a little bit more shadow to the backs. And also, when you're not using watercolor paper, like this is just Bristol, I'm probably already pushing my luck um, by not drying it yet because your paper is going to start uh, warping and pilling if you don't dry it or let it dry in between. So I probably need to go ahead and dry this. <clears throat> Before adding up too much more. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and dry that. Oh, and then also... Uh, the best way to clean a water brush, I have a baby wipe sitting here, uh, is on a um, Kleenex. So you can squeeze it out and uh, something about a Kleenex will just pull the paint and the water from the brush a lot easier. So a Kleenex is the best way to clean your water brush rather than like a baby wipe or something. So just squeeze it out like that. Oh, cat and paste, you'd have to probably ask Janet or any other of the watercolor girls. Yeah, I'm not really a watercolor girl, but Janet could probably tell you what she thinks of the difference. Um, or one, somebody else here that does watercolor. I don't, uh, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't give you a fair assessment of that CNP. All right, let me dry this. <clears throat> If you dry the back, I don't want to touch. Wait a minute, let me move this one because it's wet. If you dry the back, it can help smooth out your uh, any uh, warping too. Make sure before you do any pencil work, it's 100% dry. Or you'll just be ripping up your paper. All right. Now I want more of a... Uh, I want to add a little bit more of a warmer yellow here. So there's some areas that are real bright yellow. So I'm going to go ahead and put some of that really bright yellow on top. Then I'll dry it again. And then I will um, go in with the ver the oranges. The, ver the flames. You know, the I guess it's called a flame tulip. I'm not sure. I could, guess I uh, could look it up in the book, right? <laughs> So you just got to layer with watercolor, kind of like you do pencil. Just layer it. Okay, let's see. Anybody? Nothing in caps, so nobody's asking me anything. When I glance over at the chat, I'm looking for caps. So if y'all ask me anything. Okay, there's that layer. All right, let me clean my brush again. Judy's answering. Okay, so she's given some YouTube channel uh, recommendations. Okay, thanks, Judy.
So if y'all missed it, I said for Inktober, my plan is to do um, chickens and roosters for Inktober. Okay, bye, Lady Jan. Thank you. All right, so now I need kind of an orangey, an orangey red here. Let's add just a little bit of water down here. That looks pretty good. Kind of a corally, kind of a corally red orange. All right, so let's see. Now I'm gonna take my time here so I can kind of. red that's sitting there. Still with the tour, guys? <laughs> and that's the back. Whoop. That's the backs of those. So. See, I modified the petals. I'm just kind of doing my own kind of flame flame design on here. Let's do this. Um, have you ever worked with art brand for like with art brand collab? I don't I don't even know who that is, inspiration. I don't know who that is. So obviously the answer is no. <laughs> and I'll do some more, more shading in the reds with a pencil. Let's see, let's bring this down just a little. And then maybe a little bit under there. I'm going to exaggerate some of these. I want them a little bit more. More. They're kind of small in places, and I'm gonna I'm gonna exaggerate some of these flames to make them bigger. Because it's a big tulip. No, I really don't collaborate. I mean, with uh, brands, yeah. You mean sponsored sponsorships? No. 
you know, I do promote some, you know, I promote different um, artists and books and things like that. And, you know, I'm going to do a coloring lamp unboxing on Wednesday. But, uh, and, uh, and Ethan said if I wanted to, to get, um, what do you call it? I guess you'd call it a sponsorship. So that if uh, I wanted a, a commission off of every lamp that sold from my channel, but I, I'm really not interested in doing that. Not that there's anything wrong with it. <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with it. But uh, yeah. I think I'll make these come up a little there. A little shadow there. <clears throat> and it needs a little bit more of a it's almost like a gray green. Let me clean my brush out here. It's almost like a gray. I want to get it to. Um, I don't want to get it too gray with the. Uh, what do you call it? A uh, paint. Let's see what this does. Let me go ahead and dry it. Let me dry the red. I guess for some, for one reason, I don't like to feel obligated to anything because then I'd have to think about it. <laughs> I have to think about, well, I got to do this. I got to promote that. I got to, I, I just, you know, I, I, I just don't, I don't want to be obligated and time wise. And, you know, um, I'm, I do most of this and, you know, of course I do get, you know, AdSense and ad revenue from Google. But uh, other than that, I, I just, you know, I, I'm not interested really in sponsoring, you know, being spot. I'm just not. It's I don't want to worry about it, think about it, keep up with it. <laughs> it might sound like what, but uh, yeah. Let's see. Is this going to be too? This might be too. Well, I guess it's okay. That's good. So that's just me. And again, please do not think that I'm against it. <laughs> I'm not against anybody being sponsored and getting products or, you know, making money off of that. Not at all. It's for me, it's more about the obligation of having to keep up with it and uh, time and all that more than anything. Okay. So I'm just trying to put a little bit of sh extra shadow down here, which I can still do with pencil as well, but I want this to be more in shadow down here. Just a little bit. See, it takes the fun out of it. <laughs> it becomes a job, yeah. So I do, you know, I do appreciate everybody that supports the channel and tip jars me or PayPal sticker. I mean, uh, yeah, PayPal tip jar or super chats me so i do appreciate that guys and i want i do want to try to get back into doing the uh giving y'all you know monthly print so as a thank you please back in here so i'm just adding a little bit of a taupe uh color Kind of a taupe shadow. And build it up. That's what you have to do with watercolor. It's light to dark. Acrylic, it's dark to light. <clears throat> I 
Hi, Ashley. See what this is looking like. It's a little bit more dark down in here. I'll have to do that with pencil. If I go over this too much, it's going to just start muddying it up. So I think I'll add some more shadows in here with pencil. So that might be just maybe a touch at the tops here. Just a touch. Okay, I think that's a good start. Oh, thanks, Devin. All right, let me clean off my brush again. I'm going to dry it, and I think I might go into pencil now. All right, so let's go ahead and just, I want to dab up any extra water that might drip. I don't, I don't ever clean this because some of those, those, sometimes those are your best colors, but I don't want anything, you know, getting into the uh, paint. All right, so let's dry this. You have to make sure it's 100% dry before you start in with pencil. I don't know what Janet's drawing along. And I still haven't seen what Janet's going to do today. Okay, I think that's good. Let me move the paints to the side so I can move the pencils. And I just put my Prisma colors. I have a I have a full set that's in the case as well, and I have some wrapped up in extra bundles that are extra. But um, I keep them like here's my colors, like here's the blues, the purples and pinks, the oranges and reds. They're a little mixed up, but and then the greens and yellows, and then some a few neutrals here, and then for um, I have a whole bunch of neutrals in another tray for when I do portraits. So, um, let's move that. And uh, so, yeah. There we go. Thank you, Debbie, Bruce. And good morning, by the way. Thanks, everybody. Let's move the shadow. Let's move that all over. So, the shadow. There we go. All right. Sip of juice. Ah. Uh. Think about doing a draw your day, like in the Beast, Janet. You mean like what you would use it, uh, the things you would draw in your, she, Janet calls her uh, daily kind of journaling it the Beast. Her journal is called that. <laughs> um, so Mary said Flaming Parrot Tulip. Is that what this is called, the Flaming Parrot Tulip? All right, so now uh, let's pick some colors. I want to get um, a uh, like a burnt sienna, uh, an orange, a red orange. Too much the same. Let's see. I need the maybe the pumpkin color. I'll tell you. I'll try to tell you what colors I picked. Um, and then I'm gonna need green, moss green, this green, and. And then probably a yellow to blend. 
to blend everything. Probably that. I'm going to start with these. And I'll show you what I'm going to do at the end. I'm going to take a, when I finish this part, I'm going to take a picture to, to keep it like that, like that. And then I'll show you what I'm going to do after that. I'm not going to tell you yet. Okay. So let me go ahead and make sure these are all sharpened. I don't have, I have no particular favorite pencil sharpener. This is just a little plastic one. I like the metal bullet ones. I think it's uh, m and R. I I forget what they are. I think it's an m and R. Um, I like those. But I'll just pick up whatever pencil sharpener. I, I'm just not picky about the pencil sharpener. And I just sharpen it in a little, um, what do you call it? Uh, this is a, a cranberry juice lid because it's little and it's handy. And then when it gets too much in there, I can just dump this. And so I just have it handy right there. Okay. So let's go ahead and start with some of the green. All right. So I got... Um, Lime peel, uh, and this one is chartreuse and bronze, which is like a greeny, greeny brown. Um, what's it? I hate it when they're yellow. When the the writing is gold on a yellow, I cannot see it. Uh, I can't even read that. I can't even read what that is. Canary yellow. And then this one, I sharpened it at the wrong end. I think it's Sienna, so I, there's no number. And it's this is one of the old barrel ones, I think. Yeah, it's an old barrel one. And then this one is Tuscan Red. Uh, pump, is it Pumpkin? What is it called? Orange Mineral? Maybe this one's Pumpkin. That's just orange. So that's, I, I just, I always go by just what it looks like rather than the numbers. And I couldn't, I've been using uh, Prisma color since Barrel, Sanford, Prisma, Prisma, Prisma Premier. And I cannot tell you the numbers, not even the black and white ones. Because I just don't. Uh, <laughs> um, white is 938. Because I just don't care. <laughs> People go, well, tell us the numbers. Tell it. But I, I can't do it, guys. I just can't. <laughs> don't make me <laughs> all right so i'm going to start with the bronze which is like um green a brownie green and i'm going to start getting in some of the shadows here <clears throat> so So what's everybody else been doing for the last two weeks? I missed you guys. I need another paper under this because there's bumps on here. That I, even though this is Bristol, I can feel some of the paint chip things on here. So I need to make sure that it's nice and uh, uh, smooth. So what do y'all, anybody been up to the last couple of weeks? I just want to kind of define some of the darkest shadows here. Let's get up under here. <clears throat> Went a little bit lighter green on here. I'm kind of trying to watch chat. So if y'all answer, talk to me, put it in caps. Nice dark shadow up under there. Filling my Janet journal with Zentangle samples. I haven't, for some reason, Becky, um, have you been posting them on IG? I haven't seen it pop up on IG in my feed. Have you been posting on Instagram? 
like Cat and Paste and Trisha. They've been popping up in my feed, but I haven't seen your Zentangles. They were for a while. I'd see them every day, Becky. I'd see every day I would see your uh, Zentangles. Thank you, Mary. Thank you. Very kind. It's good to be back, guys. And I talked a little bit about, you know, my trip earlier on today. Uh, so, you know, you can go back and, and listen to that. And uh, Wednesday, we're going to do um, the coloring lamp. We're going to uh, unbox it. I haven't even unboxed it. I don't even know which picture he sent me to color. I don't even know that yet. I'm going to unbox it with you guys. So <laughs> I totally do not even know which um, which picture he sent me with the lamp. But I'm going to do the full unboxing with you guys. Haven't taken it, anything out but the invoice because of the addresses and stuff. And if someone wants to put the coloring lamps, um, it's on Instagram, it's coloring lamp, not the coloring lamp, just coloring lamp on IG. And I think it's uh, the coloring lamp dot com for the website. <clears throat> Haven't posted, posted the big ones, but they're just little. Oh, okay. Well, I was wondering because they usually pop up for me in Instagram. Uh, Becky, you know, when you post, uh, your Zentangles. I am trying to read chat and keep up. So anybody else want to talk about what they've been working on? Feel free. Give yourself a little promotion here. Talk about your stuff. We're always good about sharing other people's work and channels and IG and all that. You know, um, I, I appreciate it if you don't just come here just to do that. But we're we're big on sharing. Okay, I'm gonna need some really darker darks right in here. Just kind of taking my time. There's Hubster. He's back. He probably went to the post office. He's probably going to bring me some happy mail cards. I got a whole bunch of cards. and I appreciate all the, the sympathy cards y'all sent me. Thank you so much, guys. All right, so there's some shadows, kind of like a little bit of a tulipy wave. Doing a wave, <laughs> you know. Have little folds, a little bit of folds in the tulip, like that. Not too, not too obvious. Just kind of soft. Again, I'm taking liberties. I'm not copying the picture. I'm just kind of using it as a reference to do. A tulip, not necessarily this exact tulip. So, a little darker and a little more pointy. There are my tips there. <clears throat> Sketching and planning next year's garden layout. Awesome, Mary. It makes me want to inhale the front of <laughs> Judy. Yeah, it does kind of, doesn't it, Judy? Yeah. Let's sniff the tulip.
So I'm just kind of taking my time. Hope y'all are enjoying it. Some of those folds in the tulip there. I'm going to surprise y'all at the end. So, <laughs> well, maybe not. You will probably not be surprised. But i got to get some darker darks in there. Actually, could do some black right in there. Let's see, Joan K. Harvesting books. <clears throat> All right, let's keep going here. Let me sharpen my pencil again. I did bring back mom's, um, of course, I, she, she has a lot of color books too. And of course, not as many as I had. And, but uh, the color books that I bought her that she'd colored in, because that's the ones I wanted, the ones she'd colored in. I brought back the color books that she colored in. So maybe, you know, sometime I'll, uh, I'll show you mom's color books that she's colored in. So I was happy to have her color books. Of course, most of which I bought her anyway. But <laughs> I wanted, to, I wanted the, the pages that she'd colored, right? So it it was it was good to see those. <clears throat> okay, let's do a little shadow in here. more shadow over here and a little bit kind of in here soften this edge same thing for this one is it coming along, guys? It looks like it's coming along. Yeah, yeah, me too, Carla. Yeah, I will one. I will sometime. And she kept every note I wrote her when I sent her the book. She kept it in the book, <laughs> so it was really sweet to see that. All right, let's see. These petals need some little bit of. softly put some curves in it. OK. 
Okay. All right, I'm going to stop on the green for a minute or the shading. Yeah, and Devin, yeah, yeah, I know. She was, yeah. And there's a couple of videos that she's in. I still have them up, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Oh, thanks, Dot. Thank you. So when I, well, I'm not going to tell you. I, I want to get ahead of myself and tell you. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and get in with the uh, Tuscan Red. And at the very bottom, I think this will be the color I need to work with. So at the bottom of each of the flames, I'm going to darken. <clears throat> place it needs a little dark. Can y'all tell the difference that made? Look, look at the difference that made from that between those two. Did anybody see, what did Janet say she was going to do? Oh, work in the beast. Or, well, I don't know if she's going to work in the beast, but dailies, she said. So, she needs to show the beast again. It's been a while since she showed it, hasn't it, guys? And Janet comes on at 1 Eastern. We usually have, I usually try to go to somewhere around 12. And then uh, Janet comes, we have about an hour break before Janet comes on. <clears throat> hey, Chocolin. Anybody else coming in I missed? Janet said she was going to draw. Yeah, draw draw your day. But is she going to do that in her beast? I don't know. I'm not sure. I guess we'll be surprised. So it does take a minute, you know, to do this, guys, you know. Sometimes I can, you know, do things quicker with the uh, art scroll when I'm using acrylic paint because I can, you know, just throw that paint around quicker. But, you know, it takes a little longer when you're shading with pencil. I can't imagine. <laughs> um, no, I'm kind of using both. Uh, that's a good question, though, Debbie. Debbie's asking if I'm using light pressure or, with my pencils. So some places I am, like when I'm shading in here, I'm. this is like light pressure here, like in that. But when I want to do like, um, all right, let me do one over here. So like I want a, a nice heavy dark line, full pressure right there, full pressure to get that nice dark line like that. 
see here, I'll do it over here. So that's full pressure. And then I might kind of go lighter to feather the edge, you know, feather it off. So it's kind of a combination of both. Let me let me do a little here. Let me get a piece of paper here to show you. My nice little sample paper. So if you do some hard pressure, then you can kind of like lift at the end. And so it's lighter at the end. Say so, so you can do hard pressure and then lift. So that you don't end, it doesn't end with a harsh like stop and like that. Can you see the difference between doing this or doing that? So you kind of lift so that you're not leaving a, a it like a sharp edge right there. Now, but I now I need to sharpen it. It's really. Okay, Arlene, you have a good day, too. Arlene is everywhere. I mean, I see her, like, no, not this week, but um, <laughs> she's she's like, a, she'll be at streams at 3 in the morning. And then I'll see her here, you know, <laughs> it's really the next day. And you can also use the side to kind of get a softer, a little bit softer shading if you're using the side. All right, so now I'm going to go in with some of the um, uh, orange mineral, or mineral orange, and I'm going to kind of just kind of soften some of the flames here. Like this one right here. What I did in the watercolor, I'm just going to soften that. Really could add some more bright red. I might do that. I didn't pull any reds. I just pulled the Tuscan red, which is a deep red. But it could probably use a little bit more red red. So let me go ahead and grab a red. Like a carmine red. Or a scarlet red. Yeah, here's a car, uh, carmine red. Oh, thanks, Devin. Arlene is like a, she, she is, she is, that is true, Rachel. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and add a little more brighter red. Let's see if you can tell the difference. Maybe just kind of bring those little flames up just a little more. See, can y'all tell how much that brightened it up? And then I'll just add a few extra little flames to it. Just because I want to. A little more variegated. Like that. It's more variegation that may not be in a real one, but I want I want more like that. A little bit more veiny like that. Oh, thank you, Julia. I, I always say my my shows, my streams are not classes; they're just demos. But that doesn't mean you can't learn from them. But you know, when someone's teaching you a class or something, they're telling you step by step what color they're using and I, I just can't do that it takes the fun out of it for me. i tell you i'm not a teacher uh, i'm an encourager <laughs> but that doesn't mean you can't learn something i don't mean that but something like this
just gives it a little more oomph. All right, so let's do the bottoms of both of them. you're seeing here three and streams well it depends sometimes if i wake up in the middle of the night or you know you go get up and you know you see a bunch of dings on your phone if you get up to go to the bathroom <laughs> see, i just see her everywhere i mean i don't stay up you know late but uh you know if i'm awake for 15 minutes or something like that and i'll stop by somebody's um notification you know, like uh, Gary or um, uh, what do you call it? Edwin's reading of uh, the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit with uh, with uh, Elrod drawing, you know, or creepy little book. And I, where's Tina today? Um, I hope she's okay. I didn't message her. I think I didn't message anybody, Pacola or anybody that I was. I just you know, hope that they'd be here, get notification because I said I'd be back on Labor Day. So I hope Tina's okay. But, you know, Tina's also a mod for Creepy Little Book and um, and his channel doesn't start till like 12 or 1 a.m. And Arlene will be over there, <laughs> you know, after Edwin, you know, after Edwin's uh, ends because Edwin's in Hawaii. So his show comes on at about 10 sometimes i'll catch 10 or 15 minutes at edwin's because his starts at 10 which is four, five, six, seven, eight. i think it's four in the afternoon hawaii time he's six hours hawaii's six hours earlier than eastern time and uh but but i'm just my point is is arlene is everywhere <laughs> oh good so you can see the difference judy good and uh, so it's just funny to see her. And, you know, when, when I'll just, I'm, I don't go to the channels and chat when I'm, um, you know, wake up in the middle of the night because I, I don't have my glasses on. I'm just watching. I'm not really reading. You know, I'm just watching some. And uh, <laughs> it's just funny to see Arlene everywhere. I don't know how she does it. So let me just keep adding a little bit extra flame, you know, extra variegation, um, veining, a little extra veining. It just kind of looks, it's looking cool to me to add those extra little veins. See, doesn't that look better than that? I think so. Hi, Jonica. So I'm just kind of, just, you know, doing what it looks good. I'm not following anything. I'll show you his picture that I used as reference, which, again, don't try to say, oh, well, you didn't get that pedal right. You didn't, because that's not why I'm doing it. <laughs> People do that. They'll go, oh, well, you use a reference, but it doesn't look like the reference. Well, that's why it's just a reference. You're just referring to it. <laughs> I'm not trying to copy it, right? So... Um, but I'll show it to you all again after we're, we're done here. I don't want to. I don't want to rush this part because I want these to be soft and feathery. All right, let's see here. This guy just takes a while. But yeah, so I saw the old skating rink and it was so old. I thought, oh my gosh, that thing is still there. And uh, somebody said there's still there was no cars there at the time. 
but that it was still in use. They're still using the old skate. I'll tell. I'll make a. I'll tell y'all. I know most y'all have heard this story before, but um, it's the skate and rink where I tell the story about when I was. I think I was probably eleven or twelve. I oh, probably twelve, maybe. Well, no, maybe eleven. Anyway. So me and my friends back then skate, you know, roller skating. I'm not talking about rollerblading. There was no rollerblades back then. It was all the regular old skates. And um, we were really good at it. We were really good. You know, we could do the twists, the turns, the dancing, the moves. We had all the moves, right? And, of course, you know, when you're 11 and 12, you just think you're just hot stuff, <laughs> especially if you can do all these roller skating tricks, you know? And, uh, of course, now I think back and I, I think about Boo, who was, a you know, did the professional cheer and all the things, the tumbling and stuff that she could do. with her. Oh, my gosh. We thought we were really doing something with the skating. But anyway. <laughs> so. Um, so uh, we were all doing the tricks and they'd have and they do all kinds of little contests. They do the limbo and they do all kinds of you know, dance moves and steps and all that. And uh, of course we'd all, you know, me and my friends would all be, you know, doing all of it, you know, we do all of it. And uh, so anyway, we were just like be bopping around to the, you know, cause I played the music real loud. Right. You know, I think it was, maybe it was Santana we were listening to. <laughs> I don't remember. But anyway, so we were just be bopping around. You can't see me doing the chair dance right now, but and so going around, and all of a sudden, I saw somebody's wheel go roll by. And I told my friends, and I have a loud voice. Y'all know I talk loud. There's no doubt about it. And I talked over the music so my friends could hear me. Ha, 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 look, there goes somebody's wheel. Bam. I hit the ground. It was mine. <laughs> oh, anyway. <laughs> So yeah, <laughs> I told I've told y'all that story a whole bunch of times. But anyway, yeah, it was my wheel. So yeah, be be careful there. You know, you think you're hot stuff, and you're just be bopping around that skating rink and smack. <laughs> yeah, pop, pop, so yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. So yeah. So um, yeah. It just helps, you know, you have a few, you have a couple of those incidents happen. It just helps you get over yourself. You know, it's like, you know, nowadays with everything's online and you just, I don't know, you just don't, uh, don't take yourself so seriously. That's what I, I guess that's what I should say. Don't, don't take yourself so seriously. It's okay. It's all right. <laughs> we all lose a wheel every now and then. <laughs> We're all is a wheel every now and then, and you just get up and you go get you another pair of skates and you get back in the rink. <laughs> all right, let me go back to. I need a little bit, even almost a gray, a dark, a little bit darker green, this or a darker. Um, here we go. What's this color? Um, green ochre. It's just a little darker than that. I need a little bit darker green. Ah, there we go. That's what I need. I need that darker green in there. Yeah. There we go. See the difference that makes? Look. <clears throat> well, at least you announced your fall from ground. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I told everybody. Yeah. No, I think the worst was... Um, well, I don't, I don't say the word. I've had a few embarrassing moments, but it's again, you know. Um, another thing I like to do when I was a kid is swim. I love to swim and dive. Do I mean, do off the high dive, I do. Now, I don't think I ever did like a triple Lindy or anything like that, you know. But I did do, um, I did do some fancy, kind of fancy diving for, you know, as fancy as a 12-year-old can do, right? As fancy as a 12-year-old can do. But, um, so, uh, one day at the pool and it, and it was an Olympic size pool, right? Big pool. I think, I think that's where this happened at. I'm trying to remember, but anyway, um, and you know how they have the ropes, 
with the floats that have a rope, a float, a rope, a float, you know, where they divide, it would divide the, um, the sections from like the six foot to the eight foot to the 12 foot, you know, those ropes that divide. I don't know. I haven't been to a pool and that's an Olympic size where they'd had those. I haven't been to one of those in a while, but, um, uh, I was, you know, 12 years old, of course, you know, <laughs> and back then we all wore bikinis. We thought we were so cool and so cute. And uh, so anyway, um, I was walking. I thought I'm, I'm going to walk, try to walk the whole way across this rope, across the pool because it was floating. You know, it had a lot of tension. You could stand on it. Right. I don't know if you're supposed to, but, you know, Um so I started walking across, you know, balancing, you know, like a balance beam, you know, you're walking across. And uh, of course my friends were there. <laughs> we all, and so, and, and my loud voice, and of course my friends were probably across the other side of the pool from where I was. So I scream out, Hey, look at me, look at me. And they went, look at you. Your top's down. Your top is down. I looked down. My top is like down. It was like off, like fell. <laughs> so I immediately dive into the water, you know, but <laughs> not before announcing to everybody, look at me. <laughs> and I tell my, you know, I tell the kids and, you know, uh, you know so they, so they know that, <laughs> so that they know, look, you know, you, you're going to survive. You're going to have embarrassing moments and you will live. You will live. You will survive. It's okay. Even if they put it on social media. <laughs> uh, anyway, so yeah, those are a couple of my embarrassing kids stories. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> so I'm just getting in a few more darker shadows with the uh, what I say it was the uh, green ochre yeah a few more of the little folds and flips <clears throat> All right, let's see here. Oh, let's see. <laughs> yeah, probably so, Judy. <laughs> Rachel. Oh, okay, so let's see. I think I think that's looking pretty. Let's see. Let's get a couple more darker green slips in there. Just a couple on some of these edges. Okay, so what I want to do, I'm going to do a couple things. Let me take one more look at it here. And again, don't forget on Wednesday, we're going to unbox and color uh, the coloring lamp. A new one, uh, Ethan and uh, the coloring lamp people have been uh, working on fin finessing the design. And I do not know which design, which um, uh, coloring shade they sent me to do. So whatever it is, we're going to do it. We're going to do it on Wednesday. Okay. So I'm going to the dark right in there. Let me get that. Okay, let me go back to my red again. 
and just do a few more little flames here. Soften some of those up. So thank, and thanks everybody that's here today and the lurkers. We love our lurkers. That maybe a couple extra here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a picture of this as it is. Okay. Uh, let me, yeah, let me go ahead and do that. All right, hang on, I'm going to move it closer to me you, you, so I can get a good picture of it here. All right, so now what I'm going to do, oh, I always accidentally take a picture of the, when I'm turning my phone off, I, you, I, if you click, if you touch both sides of your phone, it'll take a screenshot. I'm always taking screenshots of my um, what do you call it? Uh, phone cut face. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of flatten it out. All right, so there it is. Now, nobody panic. Nobody panic. I'm not going to show you what I'm going to do. I know some of y'all probably already know what I'm going to do. <clears throat> and then I'll show you the uh, show you the one in the book. You were hanging around. Let's see. Uh, are you kidding? You have been handing. Hanging around since this is going to go. <laughs> okay, so now what I'm going to do. All right. I'm just going to straighten it, flatten it out. All right, wait for it, wait for it. So now I have one that has. The white background. How many of y'all knew I was going to do this? One of the domestic courses I bought was on Procreate. I bought the Procreate one some time ago, but I haven't done it um, yet. Um, I haven't done the Procreate one, and I'll tell you why. It's because I watch all my domestica. I mean, I have watched a couple on the computer, but I have to watch it on the computer. And I, I like to watch my domestic courses on my iPad, and I have to have the iPad free to do the Procreate, right? So I have to do the, um, I'll have to do that class on the computer so that I can use my iPad to do the actual Procreate class. You know what? You, I, does that make sense, Devin? <laughs> you were hoping I would paint the background, Becky? And I have my baby wipe here. This is, um, if I catch this while it's wet, because th this is plastic coated, I can kind of wipe it up. I don't care if it gets on the back anyway, but, you know. <laughs> I thought some Posca shot me. <laughs> I could put stars on it, but I'm not going to, at least right now, because I want y'all to see that, you know, I use that, uh, the photograph by Harold Feinstein to, um, you know, do this inspiration. So what I'm going to do is, let me get a, this baby wipes dried out. 
So what I'm going to do is show you, I'll show you mine, you know, that I, with the inspiration. Again, I'm not trying, I wasn't trying to copy it exactly. <clears throat> okay, let's keep going here. And I'll just add a little bit more ruffles or whatever on the edges. This is just straight acrylic paint with no water. It's just craft paint. Y'all know all my, um, well, 99% of what I do with craft, uh, with acrylic paint is just craft paint. Okay, I'm going to move this so that I'm not making a big mess. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn it. So we can get a straight line. Do a little bit of a wave in it. Just add a little bit more oomph. After the story of the swimming pool and the bikini, I will show you. <laughs> I guess <I'm> <laughs> Rachel. But anyway, yeah, my, my point of those stories was like, don't take yourself so seriously, you know, so your friends laugh at you and make fun of you for a day. The next day, they're so wrapped up in what they're doing, they're not even going to remember. Anything about you, because they're wrapped up in themselves, right? At that age, you know. I'm turning it so I can do it faster. I could do it without turning it, but it would it'd take me a little longer. So I'm trying to get it done as fast as I could here. And if you don't add any water to the paint, it's easier to get a nice flat um, coverage. Okay, let's see, I need a little bit more dip in this one, I think, just a little bit more, that's better, and actually, they could use a little bit of darker right in here, <clears throat> I'll go soften it out with pencil, but it needs a little bit darker right in there, right in there. So I'm going to just put some black down there, and then I'll go back over that with red just to kind of soften it just a little. It just needs a tiny, it just needs a little bit more shadow right in here. See how that made that pop? Just that little bit. It could actually use just, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit more just right up in here and probably right up in there. Just that little bit. All right. Brush. Let's dry it. Thanks, Rachel.
Okay, so I got a little speck of black paint right there. So let's just kind of fix that a little bit. And let's bring the stem all the way to the bottom. And let's see, where's the red? Uh, oops, don't need those oranges. Let's take this red. A little speck of black right there, too. All right, now let's soften the black. And let's soften it here. Okay, now I'm going to get the lime and just maybe get right at the tips of the tulips. Nice, it's kind of a little bit sharper point on them. A little bit of a crisper edge, I should say. All right, what do y'all think? I still see that black there. Let's kind of feather that in. All right, let's see. Right along this yellow, yeah, let's get a little bit of edge right there. <laughs> All right, am I done? Am I done? Let me see with my black pencil. Let's get fix that little bump right there. Fix a couple places where I kind of paint didn't paint real neatly. There we go. Hi, Light and Laughter. Good to see you. Well, I did use a um, Harold Feinstein photo as a reference. I, I changed the petals, though. You know, I, I, I think I made one less of one and um, curved them a little different. But I'll show you the reference. Hang on. Let's get this right here. All right, let's see. All right, I think that's pretty good. I think I'm going to finish, let's call it done. I'm just kind of looking at all the edges. Maybe a little shadow right in here. Okay. All right. What do y'all think? Should I, should I call that done? I know Riri and Riri. I don't know who sent me these books, but if anybody wants to fess up, uh, sent me the tulips, and here's the picture I used as a reference. There's my version. I added a lot more flamey bits. See, I added more more veins. I should say I added more veins, but. Um, so, yeah, whoever sent me the tulip book and the orchid book. Here, let me get that over here. <clears throat> so, sent me the, uh, well, let me get the cover here. Here's the dust jacket. 
So I do not know who sent them to me, but whoever did, thank you so much. And uh, yeah, so let's back out here. There we go. Put the paint. There we go. All right, let me get a fresh baby wipe to wipe my hands. Oh, oh thanks, Light and Laughter. Thank you, guys. They will be revising that tulip once. <laughs> so I'll sign it like small down here with white, uh, with a thin white uh, pencil uh, or Posca. So, yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. So you all have any questions or anything? Um, thanks. Thanks, Coloring Corner. I should do the, an orchid one one day. I could do that, Shelly. Okay, well, does anybody have any questions or anything before we head out? I think I'll go ahead and go. Hubster's off today, so um, I think I'll go hang out with him and get a Get a sandwich or something before um, before Janet comes on at one. Don't forget, guys, I keep putting this up here just to remind you. Jerry Duty, Monday 27th. So um, if I get dismissed, you know, Monday or Tuesday, and then I'll be there the 29th. I'll be here the 29th. But just FYI, that was in my mailbox when I got back from Texas. So, you think Riri sent me the books? It could be. It could be. Whoever did, thank you so much. Everybody's saying you think it was Riri. <laughs> so, uh, So you did, Riri? She is the one? All right, well, it's because I want to put her name in the books. Okay, so if it was Riri, I'm going to put her, you know, put her name inside. Thank you, Riri. So that way I can, anytime I, I uh, use them or... Um, alter them or whatever I'm going to do with them or paint from them, then I'll know who sent them to me. All right. Well, thanks everybody for being here. And uh, thanks for, thanks for coming back after being gone for two weeks. <laughs> thanks, Julie Topaz. Thanks, Riri. All right, guys. Um, well, make sure y'all follow each other. Um, you know, when I, when I tell y'all an Instagram or a YouTube channel, go check them out, you know, go peruse the awesomeness that are the fibs. And, uh, I'm going to go ahead and go and I'll see y'all about an hour and a half over at Janet's. Thank you, Debbie. All right, guys. Well, y'all have a blessed day. Thanks for joining me back here again this Monday. And don't forget Wednesday, we're going to do the coloring lamp. And I'll have one set up, the one that y'all have seen me do before. I'll have it set up over here on the side and show you how the colors change and everything. And then I'll work on the new one and then we'll put the new one together. I have not, I don't even know which shade um, Ethan sent. So we'll be surprised together. I'm going to wait and unbox it on, on Wednesday. Okay. All right, guys. Well, y'all have a good day and uh, thanks everybody. Yep, there's Janice. I've seen about an hour and a half. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye-bye.